Lesson 38, Interpreting Graphs. Example 1. The graph shows the varying speeds at which Emma exercises her horse. How is the x labeled? The x-axis is down here and it's labeled as the time in minutes. How is the Y labeled? The Y axis is this line right here, and it's labeled by the speed in miles per hour. What is happening during a horizontal line segment in the graph? So this is a horizontal line. Are we moving anywhere? Or are we staying still? And for how long? The speed of the horse is remaining the same. So yes, we're moving somewhere, but we're not going any faster or any slower. It's just staying the same speed. And for how long is that red line? If we started at 0 and ended at 10, it's for 10 minutes. What is happening with a line of a positive slope, which is this blue line? The speed of the horse is increasing. If you look around here, we're starting about five, six miles per hour, a little less than that, because five is right here. So it's probably three miles per hour. And we're ending at, if this is 20, that's 25 miles per hour. So we're increasing from a speed of three miles an hour to about 25 miles per hour. And it's from 10 minutes to about, oh, 17 or 18 minutes. So in a span of eight minutes. What is happening when there's a line of negative slope? That's this green line. And if a blue line with a positive slope means we're increasing speed, the green line means we're decreasing speed. So we're going from 25 miles an hour back to 2 or 3 miles an hour. Describe what the horse is doing in the graph from the beginning to end. So the red line represents the horse walks at a constant speed of about 3 miles per hour for 10 minutes. The blue line represents the horse's speed increasing over the next 7 to 8 minutes to 25 miles per hour. That means it started at 3, it ended at 25 miles per hour. This next line, again, means that the horse is running or galloping at a constant rate of 25 miles per hour, and it goes for about from 17 minutes to about 37, so for about 20 minutes. The green line represents the horse slowing down, so you're either pulling on the reins, um, and it's going to go from 25 mile an hour down to 3 miles per hour in about 3 minutes. And then the last part again is a red line where the horse is probably walking about 3 miles per hour and for 10 minutes. So now I want you to practice drawing what you think the height of a tree increases over time, but not at a constant rate. So draw what you think the graph looks like and label the x and y axis. The x axis is down here, which should be time, and the y axis is over here, which should be the height. So I want you to label the time, probably in minutes, and the height probably in feet over time.
Use the word problem to complete the sentence frame. Darcy traveled 22 miles from her house to the Peterman's house where she babysat for one hour. After babysitting, she traveled eight miles further to the deli to buy a sandwich. After eating her sandwich, she returned home. Sketch a graph to show Darcy's distance from her house over time and label the X and Y axis. So reread this and then try to fill in the sentence frames that follow. Sentence frame. List the different actions you need to show on the graph. Then describe what is going to happen on the graph. Darcy travels from her house to the Peterman's house. Distance from home increasement increases. The segment will slant blank. She babysits for one hour. The distance does not change, so it's going to be a blank segment. After babysitting, she travels to the deli. The distance from home increases so the segment slants blank. She eats a sandwich. The distance does not change. It is a blank segment. She returns home. The distance from home decrease, decreases. The segment slants blank. Sentence frame. Label each segment. So in the blanks, if you haven't figured it out, label what's going on in each segment.